All right, so you're considering making a move to Tampa, Florida, and you're wondering, where the heck do I start? Well, in today's video, we're gonna cover just that. If you've been to my channel before, you know that we cover all things Tampa Bay, what it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. Um, but the one thing we have yet to cover so far is how to actually make that move. And what I've learned over the last year of making these videos and spending time with people from all over the country and all over the world is that you guys have great great questions. And what I wanted to do in today's video, which is a little bit different, is I want to help answer some of those questions. Um, and, and I think that this is going to be an extremely helpful video. So make sure you stick around. Make sure you watch all of it. I'll try to keep it short, guys. But there are so many questions that people have when they're relocating to an area where they may have never visited before, or maybe they've been a few times, but there's a huge difference between vacationing somewhere and living somewhere, right? And, you know, I know you know, we moved, we made this move. So I know the fears and the anxiety and, and the questions that we had. And you, you know, have brought more to me recently. And I wanted to take the time to cover some of those FAQs, if you will. Um, the things that you go to Dr. Google and start typing up at night about how to make that move. Um, and you know, hey, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Juan Alcala. I'm a real estate professional and a team leader here in the Tampa Bay area. And we help people just like you buy, sell, and invest um, and relocate to the Tampa Bay area. And I made this move myself. In 2018, I packed up my family. We traveled 1,200 miles across the country to an area where we didn't know anyone outside of one human being. <laughs> and let me tell you, that is stressful. I know what that feels like. And I remember the fears that my wife and I had, you know, bringing our young family, you know, all the way across the country with no support, no help. And that might not be you, but we had a lot of questions and I learned a lot of hard lessons. And in today's video, I wanna share those with you. Right, so I'm going to get into these because I'm going to share these FAQs and the first one that I get and I think the most useful thing that I can help you with whether you choose to use us as your real estate agent or someone else here's the thing that if I can give you any advice jump on a zoom call with that person okay whoever you have chosen and ask them to pull up Google Maps and and have them walk you through the city through their eyes okay and the first question that I always ask with everyone when we get on a call is tell me about your lifestyle tell me about how you live what do you like to do what are your hobbies are your kids involved in sports activities do you have kids do you have dogs we ask all these questions but because what I'm trying to do is help match up the ideal community for you not just the house because the thing that I've learned in real estate over the last 10 years is that most people, right? We Yes, we all want a home to be secure, but what we're really looking for is the ideal community, the ideal living environment for us. And, you know, every area, even though Tampa, is, Tampa Bay is a huge area, right? Three counties, almost 3 million people, or it's over 3 million people at this point. You know, there's a lot of diversity there. And there's not only a diversity in people, there's a diversity in communities. And, you know, that's a good thing. But, you know, if you are not interested in urban lifestyle and you really want something that's more rural, you, you got to get with somebody that help you can target those areas. That way, when you, you know, come in and come check out the city, because that happens a lot. I would say about 50% of my clients will fly in ahead of time, go check out the, the, the city, um, the areas that they've been eyeballing and try to, to really hone in on those things. And the other 50 by sight unseen, it just happens. It's, it's very normal. Um, and we'll get to those processes too. But what I wanted to do is start with the most important thing was how do you want to live in Tampa, right? Do you want to be away? Do you want to be in rural areas, more outdoor style living? Do you want to be more coastal? Do you have paddle boards and, and uh, wakeboards? Do you have a boat? Like these things are so 
so important, right? Are schools super important to you? Do you know where to go look for that information? Because, you know, that's another thing that we help provide our clients on the other side of this is like, here's the places that grade these school districts and these school systems and particular schools. Here's the places to look up crime maps because that's another question that we get asked all the time. And y'all, I've made videos on each and every one of these things. So if you have not taken the time to review the channel, please do. I know that's a big concern, but start with lifestyle. You know, explain to that person how you want to live in the area. Do you have to be close to the beach? Is being 50 minutes away or an hour and a half away from the beach, is that okay for you? Because while Tampa, you might look like there's water everywhere, in certain areas, you know, like Lithia, Fishhawk, Wesley Chapel, you're talking over an hour to get to the beach. That's just the reality of it, right? But a lot of those areas have tried to bring the beach to your backyard. Um, you can see that, you know, you go check out my um, Crystal Lagoon video, go check out the one in Wyomama. These, they're really trying to bring that beach lifestyle to those um, communities that are farther away from the coast. So check that out. Number two, when you get into uh, asking questions about safety, the, the first thing you need to know is that any licensed real estate professional cannot tell you whether an area is safe or not. Just like I can't tell you whether an area is good or not. I can tell you what um, you might wanna take a look at that's gonna most likely suit your your living style, but I, we can't say things like, you know, is there a certain race here or there's certain religions here? We're just not al allowed to do those things, but we can point you to information that can give you some insights as to those types of questions, right? And I'm not telling you should or shouldn't look at anything based upon race. I don't believe that for one second. My name's Juan Alcala after all, right? <laughs> but I, you know, I understand those fears, you know, and the other thing that I always tell people when they're looking at the crime map, especially is to make sure that they look at the crime map of the areas that they're, they're interested in and then stack them up versus where they live. Because I think you'll be surprised at a lot of similarities. Okay. Um, and don't listen to all the trolls out there, y'all. Listen, plenty of people jump in in comments and they say all kinds of things, hateful things, hurtful things. But listen, everywhere you go, there you are, right? I've heard that and it's true. If you're look, running around looking for negative, you will find it, I assure you. If you're running around looking for paradise, you will find it, I assure you, especially in Tampa. It is a wonderful place to live and a great community. Do things happen here? Absolutely. Human beings live in Tampa. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys have ever met human beings or folks as we call them. Um, I'm a folk, I live with folks. Folks is folks, we do crazy stuff, right? And you know, it's the old joke that everybody's got a, a, a prisoner and a pope in their family. Um, and if you don't know which one you are, you're probably one of those two, right? It's the old joke. Um, and, and you know, I'm making light of it, but check it out, listen, We've had a wonderful experience in our almost four years here and we wouldn't trade it for the world. I love living here. Our family loves living here. Between the sunshine, the weather, beaches, the communities, how how welcoming this community has been to us. Like we don't ever look back and say we're going back. We are Floridians now. We have adopted that. We are proud of it, right? So keep that in mind. All right, so when you're looking through those things and that Zoom call, I cannot stress enough how important it is. Phone calls are wonderful, but when you can jump in there and check out the map and really dial in hey what's going on here tell me about this and a good real estate professional can really help you hone in on those areas that best serve your needs i was talking to a family today they're relocating internationally um, they ask questions about soccer so like you know we know where those places are there are you know some really good soccer clubs in the area and if you know where those are and you're like hey i want to live within 30 minutes of that bam you take care of that no problem right it's a very easy move Another thing you get to do in there is you get to talk about the quality of the real estate, your budget, how hard is it to, to get properties under contract right now? Because I, you know, at the time of this video, we're starting to see um, things slow down uh, nationally in real estate, but Tampa is still on fire. We are still having properties go under contract the same day. This isn't abnormal in this marketplace right now, but by the time you're ready to make your jump, that could be entirely different. So getting up to speed on that um, during that call is so important and sharing all of your, your goals and your desires and what you're hoping to do in your long-term plan you'd be amazed at how much that helps the real estate professional on the other side really help get you to the spot where you are absolutely in the best position because listen y'all the last thing you ever want to do is make a relocation move and find out that the area that you're living in is not the one that you wanted to be in right and now you have to make another move moving sucks 
right? Pardon my language, <laughs> but it is the worst. I don't know about you guys. There's nothing worse than packing up all that stuff and purging and doing all the things it takes to make a move and to, to relocate to somewhere and then have to do it again because you didn't find the right house the first time. Man, that I, I don't ever want to take that phone call, right? So we work very hard. Me and my team are super focused on making sure we find the right property for you, not just a property, the right property. You will find the right community will find you the right property. Hope that makes sense, right? And then how can you work remotely? Because this is the other big question of what people ask. And this is what I'll say. You know, if you've been looking at real estate online, whether you're using, you know, Zillow, Realtor.com, Redfin, or every other real estate website on the planet, um, the one thing you know is that um, typically, you know, if you've got a good realtor, they'll hire a really good photographer. And photos can hide a lot, right? And I don't mean that people are doing it intentionally, but the photos always look better online than they do in person. And then when they, when those two are congruent, people write, they write big checks to make it happen, right? A real estate professional, when we see those photos, we know how to look through those things. We can see the angles and know that, eh, that room's a little bit smaller and we have access to all that information. Here's the room sizes. This is what you're looking for. You know, if you tell me you've got big, huge, oversized furniture and then and then you, you call me and say, hey Juan, I'd love Love to go see this home that's got a 10 by 11 bedroom time out those things are not going to work together right well you already told me you don't want to sell your furniture and you drug it across the country so these things are not going to work so those calls are super important but here's how you can work with somebody virtually right the one of the things we do is we send out properties to our clients i know they have access to zillow and real and all those other websites and that's great but the thing that you got to remember is a lot of those websites were marketing companies first that then became real estate brokerages and they are designed to market those properties to you and then turn around and sell those leads to a real estate agent who's buying them from them, okay? So they're gonna show you properties that are foreclosed, quote unquote, in pre-foreclosure. Most people don't even know that you're in pre-foreclosure on day two of not paying your mortgage, right? And that stuff's just not true. You're, those properties almost never become available to, to go see on the market. And what they're designed to do is keep your eyeballs on the, on the internet, which is totally fine. I'm not mad at anybody for it, right? I make videos hoping that you'll watch them. <laughs> right and connect with me i get it um but that's what they're there for so as when we send out properties we're sending properties the the only thing that you get in your inbox are properties that are actually available to purchase today so that's super important number one why is that important well when you start looking at those properties our systems are designed once you look at a property three times or you save a property in the system it notifies us so our team can see what you're really truly interested in right oh they really like homes with a pool in the backyard oh or maybe they every home they've looked at doesn't doesn't even have a pool in the backyard it's got more space these things are ultra important to you as the buyer as the relocation right like our job is to serve you at the highest possible level. And the way that we do that is by getting insights and information from you. So share with your real estate professional that you choose. The other thing that I would encourage you to do is, is absolutely interview them. You know, this is a great way for us to connect. And I've made so many connections over the last year. I'm, I'm extremely grateful and blessed. If you're watching this right now and you've reached out, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, my family's our, our team we absolutely love connecting with with all of you from everywhere but make sure that you have a connection with that person right just because they've been selling real estate for a hundred years or a decade like me doesn't mean they're the best and most certainly doesn't mean they're the best for you do you have a personal connection do they have the experience and expertise to negotiate your way through contracts especially in a crazy hot market like we have now these are important questions that you want to ask ask when you call like hey tell me about an example of how you got a client's offer one i'd love to hear that and let them explain to you you know what's going on in the market and how they've overcome those things for their clients that's important okay now this 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 next one i want to get to here is is really unique because you know 40% of our purchases last year were all done um, remotely, right? Which, which means uh, we call it sight unseen, where the client never actually physically saw the home, all right? They saw the photos online, and then they were like, hey, I wanna go check out this property, how do we do this? Well, I wanna to explain to you how 
with the best way to do this with, with your team. And this is how we work it, right? So when a client sends me the information, I look it up. We send them all of the written information, the property disclosures, any other documents that are associated with that property, the taxes, all of the information you would need to make a qualified decision if you were in person. But the other thing we ask you, the, our clients to do is check it out on Google Maps, right? That way you know the area is the right spot because sometimes you see these houses, right? Like I said, those photos can be deceiving and then you go to Google Maps and find out that there's a concrete Creek company right behind your house <laughs> and they're gonna be making noise all the time and that's not the house you want to be in so you don't need to see that home but once you and your team have found a good home what you want to do is what we typically will, will do is we either use Google meet or zoom zoom is a wonderful resource and we'll actually do a property walkthrough together so I open up my phone I go to zoom I, I pull it out and I start a tour of the home okay with the client and then what I love to do there is I'll get them if I see something out of order I'm going to pull the phone up go to wherever that spot is and say hey take take note of this okay um, if we see something wrong with the outside we're not contractors legally we're not allowed to tell you anything that isn't within our expertise but we are legally allowed to share anything that is obvious to the eye and I'm telling you right now, having that set of eyes on the ground for you being a relocation, maybe you're a thousand miles away, maybe you're 2000 miles away. That is one of the most useful tools you can do. And here's the little trick. This is the bonus that most people don't do that you absolutely should have your professional do with you is when you get done with that showing, have them take you on a neighborhood tour. This is the one, right? This is the biggest fear that we have, right? We find the perfect house, we pull up to the home and you know maybe the neighbors for whatever reason have decided that they were gonna paint their house purple and put a car on blocks on the lawn that is like the last thing that most people want to deal with maybe you're that neighbor and that's okay but I'm gonna tell you right now most people don't want to live next to that and they're not gonna buy a home because of it. I showed a house in st. Petersburg yesterday for a client the home is beautiful it was just completely renovated the house is stunning we pulled up to the neighborhood very next house next door literally has a dog house that's falling down in the front yard their fence is falling in on it there's a chicken coop right next to the master bedroom um, of, of their home only six feet apart I mean it's like wait a minute time out that's a giant red flag and why did we why did we go see the house because they looked at the the photos on Zillow um, and then when we looked it up on Google Maps you couldn't see that stuff that was happening over there because I always check that too because that sometimes it's delayed it's two or three years old so while we don't get it perfect we try and then the other thing I love doing for my clients too if is if we're in a neighborhood where they're really digging it I'll put the drone up in the air. We'll take the drone video and we'll send it to you as well because now you can actually see what's going on in the entire area. Yesterday, I drove a client from 15 minutes outside of uh, St. Petersburg all the way through downtown St. Pete, taking them down to uh, Tampa Bay specifically. And they were so grateful. They didn't end up buying the house and you know but they really got a sense of okay this is what it's like to live in this spot if I want to go downtown or wow there's so many things on the way between downtown and there and it was just so fun to do so I want to keep this video as short as I possibly can I know it went long but like if, if you're gonna work with someone like I said reach out to them schedule a time to have a zoom call you know give them what you're trying to accomplish talk to them about your lifestyle how you want to live in the area what your real estate needs are jump on a zoom call go do a virtual tour or check out the communities there are plenty of videos that we have on our channel and elsewhere that you can find access to almost every city in the Tampa Bay area and hey if you had any value from today please feel free to hit that subscribe button click that little bell that way you can be notified every time we make a new video like this and when it comes to making that move however you got to get hold of me whether it's text message email phone call heck even DMS on Instagram when it comes to making that move or investing in Tampa Bay real estate just know that my team here at the true living group has got your back and until next time go out and live that Tampa life